With spring break week over, girls water polo jumps back in the pool as Matia Valley hosts Nequa Valley. The Mustangs look to keep pace with the top teams in the DVC with a victory. Matia already leading 1-0 when Juliana Carter makes a leaping save. The goalie then throws an outlet pass to Addison Bludgeon who is open behind the defense for the goal. Nico Valley looks to get on the board with a shot from Megan Roberts. Carter makes another save and another long pass down the pool. Allison Leslie tracks down the ball, spins and puts in one of her five goals. 3-0 Mustangs. Later in the quarter, the Wildcat defense converges to knock the ball away from Sarah Vokes, but she is able to power the ball just over the head of Kaylin Turner and floats in for the goal. 6-0 Mattia after the first. Into the second quarter now, Addison Bludgeon continues her big night with a steal and she shows off the speed, breaking loose for another goal. Five in the game for Bludgeon. Still in the second, Lillian Witt finds Brooklyn Granger who fires home her first goal of the game to keep the good times rolling for the black and gold. A little before halftime, Nequa is able to get into the scoring column as Gabriella Snyder finds Phoebe Poax for the goal. Then just a few moments later, Megan Roberts shows a lot of effort to track down her own rebound off the crossbar and scores a goal of her own. Wildcats trail 12-2 at halftime. In the second half, the Wildcats continue to battle on offense. Samira Nadgar gets one of her two goals in the game to get Nequa Valley within single digits. But the Mustangs are able to respond quickly. Allison Leslie gets the assist on this pass to Zoe Luttrell who scores for the second time on the night. Later in the half, Emily Schalk breaks free for the goal to make it 17 on the scoreboard for the Mustangs. A good night defensively for Matia Valley girls water polo in this one as well. Shulk, Kira Hankel and Marley Schroeder combine to keep the Wildcats from knocking home another goal. The Mustangs stay perfect in DVC play at 2-0 after a 17-5 win over Nequa Valley. Yeah, that's something we've definitely worked on is getting starting right off the bat strong and keeping it the whole throughout the whole game. Yeah, like making sure to watch the shot clock so we can counter so we can get those fast breaks. Yeah, we've been swimming a lot at practice, so speed is definitely something that we're pretty good at and we definitely use utilize that to our advantage. Yeah, I mean, we've all been swimming together forever, so we're we were able to work together really well in the pool, so. Yeah, yeah and we're really trying to build up our team and just getting better every Day. Yeah, we're a close-knit group of people. Like Zoe said, we've been together since day one. So working together is really easy for us, and we like to build each other up, and we're competitive, so it really shows off in our games.